Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and I'm going to walk you through how to create a toggle. On this example, it's based off of a hotkey. That's what most people want to do. They want to hit a hotkey or whatever and have something turn on or off. Often the thing is in a loop, so that's what we're going to dive into here. If you're new to AutoHotKey, you can go to this link above me here and check out our Intro to AutoHotKey course. It's a great, solid course to get you going. But here in this example, let's start walking through this here. I have a tooltip, and notice over here, this is whatever button, so if I right-click, it says, it says right button, left button. This is just going to show you. So when I hit control T, you'll see what's going on, right? And it's letting you to know what we're doing here. And this seems a little weird. We're going to say our real first line is toggle does not equal toggle. So when this goes through the first time through, it's going to turn it on and because it doesn't exist. And then it's going to turn it off. And it's just a binary it goes zero, one, zero, one. Every time this comes through, it changes. And here we're doing a tooltip so you can see the value. Uh, and then we're going to have a sleep just so we can let it give a little rest before we jump into this while loop. Now a while loop is going to loop when this is set to zero, it's not going to loop. When it's set to one, it's going to loop. And so we're going to see this loop going through this over and over and over. And we can see that by the incrementation here. So let's, I'm going to hit control T. Oh, let me first R, hold R, make sure it's running. Now control T, that's where it says hey, it's one. And now we're in that while loop and see how to the right, the far right part of it here it's incrementing and that the number off to the right um, now if i hit control t watch the thing control t and i now toggle equals zero so since toggle equals zero i hit it if i hit it again it's going to set the toggle to one and now it's coming back to one and now we're now because it's a thing it's in this loop again over and over and over until i hit control t again and now it when i do that it again to, in here, toggle equals one. That's why we had it in our little tooltip. So toggle equals one. And then the toggle just says don't equal toggle. So make it worth zero. Um, and that stops it. Now, that's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, in the sense of understanding, hey, you get a variable. It doesn't have to be the word toggle. It can be whatever you want. And you set it to, you know, to not equal itself. And it just keeps flipping however many times you set it, right? What gets to be a little complicated, and this is a big gotcha, is if you're in a loop because auto hotkey is single threaded, it'll keep going here. Well, if you're in this loop, it will not see your hotkey. So I'm gonna say, let's change this to one. I'm gonna relaunch it. So I relaunched it now. It's not running yet. When I hit control T, everything works as we thought, right? Now I'm gonna click control T again. Oh, hey, see see over here, I'm saying Control-T, I'm hitting it. Let's try it again. But it's not stopping, right? Why is that? Because it's stuck in this loop, right? And unless you have this max threads per hotkey to equal two or more, um, it can't see that you're hitting this hotkey, right? So I'm gonna save this, relaunch it. Now when I hit Control-T, we're in here and Control-T breaks it, so. Hopefully that helps if you're trying to trigger something or send it where, you know, you do something, you can, you can have it. This could have been a mouse left, left mouse button click, right? Whatever you want, right? It's just, this is a way where you turn on and turn off things very simply as opposed to writing this complicated program to go do it. Because of course you could, but this is a very simple approach. So I hope that helps. Please like the video if it helped you. If you have any other questions, comment in here and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. 